Good morning. With us today, we have the CEO of the Canberra Innovation Network, Peter Adame. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you. Real pleasure. And if I could ask you a first question, what brought you to Australia and when did you first get here? I arrived 2015 and to be perfectly honest with you, I originally didn't want to move here. I, I, my, my journey from the Czech Republic uh, to this part of the world started earlier 2009 uh, and I moved to New Zealand originally and we were perfectly settled there. I loved New Zealand, I loved living and working there. And um, the reason why we ended up in Canberra and in Australia was that um, my partner got a job here. She's a researcher, so she got a job in 2014 at the University of Canberra originally, and, um, and she really enjoyed uh, the job here. And um, so it was impractical for us to live in uh, two places like New Zealand, Hamilton and Canberra. So I agreed to move here and, um, and I originally didn't really want to move here. So what brought me to, uh, to this part of the world is my partner. I, I had a consulting practice in innovation uh, with uh, my partners uh, back in Prague and uh, really enjoyed that type of work. But thought, you know, since my partner lives in New Zealand and I wanted to join her, I'll try if I can make it in the field here. And uh, and I think it worked. You mentioned that you really liked New Zealand and, and settled there very well. What were your first impressions of Australia like? Well, look, like I think when you're moving from New Zealand to Australia and you are a Czech, uh, the impressions are that these are quite similar environments. Uh, my, my first cultural shock was when I moved from Prague um, straight to Hamilton in New Zealand and but uh, but uh, later on you know I've been now here for five years you can see the differences and I do miss New Zealand I miss the people there I miss the atmosphere I miss the sort of can-do spirit and we can conquer the world that New Zealanders have and that's that's some also some of the differences that I kind of um, you know sense between the Czech um, the Czech way of doing things and the New Zealand way of doing things. So, so Australia, New Zealand, similar at first for us as Czechs, but um, but as soon as you you get deeper, you you can begin to see the differences. And uh, are there any other differences or specific things that stick out in your mind uh, between the Czech Republic and Australia and New Zealand? Well, first first impression I had, I thought my English was really good when I was moving to New Zealand because I worked in an international environment, lots of international projects. But um, when I arrived to New Zealand, I would classify my English as international English. <laughs> and uh, I, had a, I, had, I had a problem, um, you know, for the first couple of months understanding the accent there. Um, you know, it was different, something I was not used to. And although people could understand me, I could not understand them. So it was like learning to speak again. And I was quite a late migrant, 37, I think, when I moved uh, to this part of the world. So everything was a bit difficult. Um, but uh, in terms of the environment, really open and really welcoming to people like us, people from the Czech Republic. So it was not a problem, made lots of friends really quickly and everybody is welcoming and open both in Australia and New Zealand. So um, the differences you are specifically asking, I guess, I guess the New Zealanders especially, but Australians as well, have this can-do attitude and approach. Uh, you know, they, they think everything can be achieved. They are not pessimistic, they are optimistic people. Um, and uh, I think in Central Europe we have this uh, deep sense of realism <laughs> and, um, and sometimes this, this kind of meets um, you know, the, the optimism of Australia and New Zealand and the pessimism, I guess, of the, of the Czechs that can quite clash. And you as, you as an Australian who understands the Czechs, I'm pretty mm. sure you were witness to that. Much more cynical, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a we have a sense of humor we are proud of as Czechs, of course. But um, even my colleagues here often find me quite direct and um, and my jokes quite brutal sometimes. But uh, that's I guess the cultural differences. Mm. And do you get the chance to go back to the Czech Republic often? Yeah, I try to as much as I can. So, uh, of course, now difficult with COVID-19. I, I don't think you can travel anywhere. Uh, but um, we try to be there at least once a year. 
um, and if not, then then every two years, so quite often. And is there anything you miss about Australia when you're over there? Uh, that, that's, a, that's a hard question, of course. Uh, I miss, of course, the nature and the beaches and the people here. I'm quite a people person, so I, I attach easily to, to the people I work with, people um, that are my new friends here. Um, and I find it difficult even to move out of places. So it was difficult for me to move out of the Czech Republic and sort of lose the ties. And it was very difficult for me to move out of New Zealand to come here. And I don't want to move anymore. I just want to stay in Canberra and uh, set the roots here. So yeah, I miss I miss people most and, uh, and the nature here in uh, Australia and in New Zealand is beautiful. Well, we don't, I just see castles here. So there's not so much of built history here. That's some of the things I miss, uh, the, the culture and the built history and, but people as well. And people are different. And uh, I kind of find it interesting. And wherever I worked, uh, whether it was, you know, Romania, Ukraine, uh, and elsewhere, I always attach to the people. So you're planning on staying on staying in Australia for the foreseeable future? That's what I plan to do. Is, is there anything else you'd like to add, just in conclusion? Um, yeah, I guess, um, you know, in terms of work environment, and that may be interesting for your viewers, um, I find that, it, that the people from the Czech Republic can professionally totally make it in environments like Australia and New Zealand. Again, really open uh, culture, open environment. People are open to listen to new things. And that's probably a bit unlike the Czech Republic. They don't think here that they know everything and they are quite receptive to new ways of doing things. So, and I have found everybody incredibly supportive and I'm, I'm really, really pleased with how they accepted me and my family here. So we love living here. Well, thank you very much, Peter, for sharing your thoughts and, and feelings today. No worries, thanks.